Hey everyone, this is Tiny the Lady Strange. This is day one of my October Strange. So, every day is strange for me, of course. That's why I'm called and reverted back to the name Lady Strange. But, as you can see, probably a bit backwards, but typo negative. So, it is Welcome to October Rest Month, day one. So each of these different days is going to be the 31 days of kind of the mundane magic and macabre of my life, my interest, whether it be horror movies, which do have a lot of things like witchcraft, um, of course, horror elements, uh, tarot cards, the macabre, the strange and unusual, much like myself. Um, things like I'll be showing today, like this is my favorite band or bands. This one case will be typo negative. This is the first one in the first couple installments. You may see me in the same shirt because I'm having to do these each kind of ahead of time and then release them on the prospective days. It only has so much time and energy available, especially having um, a job with hours that takes up most of my days and most of my week. And then, of course, um, the energies and having chronic illnesses and such. Yeah, I have to work with what I have and be productive and resourceful. So with that being said, before I'm gonna make these each, I'm gonna divide these different ones up for different days in the interest of time and of course to show the days. So day one, because this is October Rust, for October Rust. Now October Rust is one of the, my favorite and iconic, well, actually my favorite and iconic album by Typo Negative, which does happen to be my overall obsession, my dark lover of music and ambiance. If you don't know who they are, I do have a small playlist with some random videos from the October Rust album, Bloody Kisses, etc. There's obviously way more than that out there. It's just what I randomly have. Um, I have many things in my collection. Um, vinyl, CDs, bootleg videos, shirts, etc. Uh, I do not by any means have an extensive collection. If you're not familiar with them, they are sort of a doom, or they were, should I say, because Peter Steele died back, I believe, in 2010. I'm not the most prepared for this, so the album I'll be showing or going over today is just one in a actual collection I'll be showing. The actual original October Rust one that I do have is in with my other vinyl and I just was lazy enough to be grabbing it. So the album that got me stuck on this in the 90s and turned me on to the deep bar crooning baritone voice of Peter Steele and that which is goth, dark metal and the ambiance of what it felt like of the 90s, in my case, being a teen in the 90s, and listen to my local radio station here, K-Rock, was the October Rust. And my, once I heard it the first time, the second time, a dozen times, it slowly became my obsession. And then as I grew as an adult, it became my major obsession. I guess it's that feeling of fall and lust and beauty and darkness, life and death, the change of seasons and that which lies beneath the magic and the macabre, that which is haunting, that which is alluring. Now, not everybody may not be into that because we each have our own thing and are each things that we're onto. However, um, with that being said, this is mine. So if you're watching my channel, you may have heard me mention them a few times here and there in videos and things. Um, just my interest of that. So again, with that being said, my channel is pretty diverse or will be more diverse because I'm deciding to be more like myself and not be pretentious. Even though I don't come across that way, I'm not pretentious. Everything you see is authentic, but yeah. But enough about myself. This video is not about that. So installment one, October Rust Month, day one, of my 31 days of strange is October Rust. This is again the October Rust album. This is again something that came in a box set so it's not the actual full original one that one would recognize. This came in a box set which I'll be showing in another installment and will be uploaded for another day. 
probably in sequence with these for October breath. But this is, again, just so that you can see, it's a vinyl that came in a box set of several albums. I believe the box set came out a couple years ago, and it was like $250, give or take. But for a collector like me, yeah, must have. <laughs> yeah, that was something I jumped on. So here's the inside of the cover. I don't know how well you can see this. Again, eventually someday I'll probably invest in a camera or something else in lighting and editing. But for all intents and purposes, wow. <laughs> okay. So the... Here's how, I'm just going to show one, it came in a black, in this case, a gorgeous black sleeve. We know that black is my favorite color. <laughs> yes, and of course black and green. Get my typo nails, too, in honor of October West Month. And look at this vinyl, because this was a special edition, this is green marbled vinyl. And just like the original, it has here the trees of the forest, which is why I'm filming outside. How appropriate. Um, this time of year, this time of season, with the smell of the leaves, the air, the wind, the wind chimes, and that, which does marry um, and complements very well each other with what I'm playing in my head at this time. And of course, so that's this. So this is, if you are into darker music, metal, gloom metal, um, you're a goth, or you already know about this, then, and you own this one or any other edition, you can certainly comment below on that and let me know. I always love to interact with fellow Typo Negative fans for obvious reasons. This album here, my favorite songs on it, and you can check out, again, my playlist below or just look up Typo Negative. There's a lot of different stuff with them um, on YouTube, in the internet. They have not produced any music since Peter's been dead. It would be kind of hard to replace him um, or find a suitable replacement on that. The only one, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, would be the singer of Moonspell, which they did tour together, I guess, back in the 90s but his voice would be very complimentary and a sense of honor. But the band is, of course, because Peter was the center of the band and the foundation and the rock and what was typo, the essence of it, along with the other members, that I don't believe they're gonna ever do anything like that. Wishful thinking, but again, definitely understand no one can replace Peter Steele, in my opinion. So, favorite songs on this is of course the one that turned me on to that as I mentioned a few minutes ago was the Cinnamon Girl which is a remake of a Neil Young song. Now Typo was known, Peter was known to be a fan of such type of music and did a lot of covers of different various things. He had a really crazy fucked up <laughs> sense of humor. Um, but also was very fun and quirky. That Capricorn energy, much like myself. Born a few days, well, he was born long before I was born, but a few days, you know, in the actual month of January before I was. I was born on the 11th and he was a few days before that. So us fellow January Capricorns have quite a bit of our own strangeness and our own darkness and just fun and interesting and unique perspective that we bring to the world. As do other signs do, of course. So favorite song, getting back to that. I, Cinnamon Girl's not my favorite, but it will always hold a special place because it's the first song I've heard about, heard from them back when I was a teen. Now the next one on that, that is my absolute favorite, honestly, is Wolf Moon. Um, and yeah, I even have a candle which went out and this was from Witch City Wicks. 
they no longer make that, but they still make like a, an October rust candle, which is featured here for October. And they made one for the Love You to Death I have and Bloody Kisses, which they released for Valentine's Day. All amazing, beautiful. Their candles last long. And of course, they're a huge typo and goth fans, so why not? And they're in Salem, so some of my other favorite things. But my next favorite song, of course, which is their iconic song, Love You to Death, is on this album. Beautiful for this year. And for those of us that practice magic, um, our practitioners in the occult, that marries very well with the ambiance of that. And those of us that are mediums and into necromancy um, or have a fascination with that, that definitely resonates. And with, of course, a lust of how love can survive after death. And my girlfriend's girlfriend's a fun one on this one. Haunted is amazing. Um, there, there is several more on here. I'm just not gonna name them all. So if you are a rock, a metal fan, a of the glue metal fan or nature, or you just have no, if you are have this and you are a fan of Typo Pen, comment below. If you are interested, certainly check out the different things on the internet. You may like them, you may not. Typo is definitely um, something that is misunderstood, um, but it's definitely an acquired taste. So if you are like me and you're into goth, you may just enjoy this or be able to add it to something that may fit your niche and your needs. So with that being said, this is for day one of the 31 days of Strange. And tune in for day two as a continuation of typo negative stuff for October rusts for my collection. And have a good day. Blessed be.